<laughs> so I started working and I bent over and I ripped my pants. A good old yeah. rip. Right there is where we had it. Is that good? I'm hitting this plastic. Is that yeah, good? it's gonna no, it's gonna need to touch it. Okay. You say? Sure. This is what you need to look for. How far you want it away from your doors? I can't get any closer right here. It looks pretty good across the board. But I think it's good. I'm gonna make it permanent. Today, I'm trying to put a set of gears in this Toyota truck of Scott's. I uh, had to dismantle the emergency brake line. So I had to take one side of the brake pad off and everything to get the axle out. And then I'll tear the gears out. I got the oil draining. Looks pretty good, so we'll have it out in a minute. All right, so uh, rear end is going together. Got the pinion in it. Gears are on it, now I just gotta put it together, set it up, stuff it back in. So Napa gave us the wrong lug, lug studs. We pushed them in and they screwed everything up. So now we're brazing these holes back up a little bit so the right lug stud will bite. All we gotta have is enough to hold the lug stud so it doesn't spin when you go to tighten it. Maybe not the best idea, but the best one we got today, it's going to work perfect. When it's all put together, no one will ever even know, right? Except for you and your tire falls off going down the freeway. That's right. Another insurance claim on this <laughs> Alright, so front end, pretty much built. Lug studs, you can see, we welded on them. I don't focus. There we go. Welded on them, got them in snug. So they're good. Everything turned out all right. Scott's more happy than he was a minute ago. So we'll uh, build a tire rod and put it together. All right, truck's setting down on the front end. We've got it pretty close to where we want it. It's awfully tight in here. I'm going to measure for some link bars and build them. Fire. There we go. Yeah, I think my, <laughs> my sleep bag caught on fire. The father turns out he was. Uh, breaker. Blew the breaker? Yeah. When you turn, turn it up to 65, she gets a little rowdy. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hey. How are you? I'm doing really good. <laughs> what are you doing today? I'm hanging out with fab rats, all these fab rats, and a couple of extra rats. Coming, to, coming to see the work on this Toyota. I haven't done a lot of work on Toyota, so this is pretty interesting. You're working me. real hard at it. I said I came to watch the work <laughs> on the Toyota. So why are you sitting down? Taking a break. <laughs> Hey, tell us about your pants. Oh, oh, oh. oh. No. Yeah. So I started working and I bent over and I ripped my pants. So. <laughs> and he's all embarrassed about it. Yeah, it's not. But we're all family here. We don't care if his pants are ripped, right? Right down the side of the back pocket. <laughs> 30, 38, 36s? Yeah, a little big. I'm 34, 30s. No, you went to 36. 36, 34. You went to 36. Paul just upgraded to 38 himself. 
He used to be 36. 36. I told Michelle. Does he have wash the old 36, him in freaking 36? cold water. Quit shrinking my pants. <laughs> she won't do it. 200 for an hour and then check them. Did you leave the skin on one side? Yep. So the way to check them is just with a fork. If it starts to peel off the skin, they're done. I love the... There you go. The recipe. Yeah, I <laughs> the recipe will. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Right there. We have them in place. Her minivan? No, buy her a minivan. I said I like them. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I'm not going to do. Pour <laughs> them out, Michelle. They're threads. Well, this got to come out more. I don't know. It looks like it. Yeah, yeah. I could use you in my shop. Just swear and throw tools? I'll sit in a chair and watch you do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come look at this because I specialize in lining things up without measuring. <laughs> yeah, that is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever the guy was that tacked that back mound on, he should be fired. Scott. <laughs> it's perfect. In case you're wondering to drag in the situation, if there wasn't a toilet paper shortage, I could use it. Without taking my pants off right now. <laughs> that one, the news, there was, there was some place that was like. I'm picturing that cakes. in my mind. Is that bad? <laughs> Alright, there you go. You can fit ya. Going over there. Here, let's see. He was wow. pretty gung ho for they're, a bit. Those were now. a good old. Oh, yeah. Rip. How are those? No. Those look fancy. Yeah. I feel like this is going to catch and try to twist me yeah. up, man. Yeah. And I didn't want it to move before Check. I cut Both it. these are ready and I'm setting them right here. Awesome. Professional. Later on, that's going to come in. <laughs> The door of plate. My life is good today. Guys making money. Why is it my house? Of course he is. Smart. And you are three linked, my friend. You know what the world is? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Let's make it permanent. So while Paul's busy working on that, I'm going to tell you what happened. Here. So first, he made this pattern. He decided where he was going to put it on the frame and decided that it was going to work. So then he copied it onto steel right there. Cut it out with a plasma cutter. And then now he's got them all cleaned up and ready to put on. So now he's looking for something he can't find <laughs> right off the bat. <laughs> that's a lock I don't want that. Hi, Scott. Yeah, here, let me see this. Oh, hi. Oh, for your line. I'm pretty close. You like that right there? That might be fine. Too far hair. Anybody the, know where my hey. Sharpie is? I'm gonna need, need it. Table. Okay. That was really nice. This one was way bigger. Bit of a Darwin bolt. is now supervising. Darwin's the supervisor the right now. That's where anything is. The last time I saw it, it was sitting. I know, that's where I remember it. And then I went to grab it and it wasn't there anymore. You should have seen it. It was like this. <laughs> There it is. How'd it get? How'd it get way over there? I blame Scott. I'll take it. <laughs> so if I just tacked it right there, then cut another is piece of Is this in the right spot? <laughs> Jamie, you in the background. Is this the right spot right here? <laughs> yeah, I, no, no. I don't know. Just we're eating. <laughs> Jamie okay. looks thrilled to be here. I'm done eating. How I'm was sleepy. it? How was it, Scott? You know, I could have I could have laid there in that <laughs> recliner and gone to sleep. That is crazy. <laughs> A little tight. Just over the pan, just under the 
oil pan. Okay, it's got to bend back up a little. Right here somewhere. Okay, we're going down. Where do these go? No tightness yet. It's coming back off. Right there. So now what we need to do is go full squish, build our bracket so it puts it as close to the frame as we can get it. Yep. I knew eating some delicious roast beef would change everybody's perspective. Why well, you don't have the choo -choo. Choo -choo. buckets anymore, bro. <laughs> well, they could still be freaking perfect. It looks good. It's hot. <laughs> In case you were wondering, it's like really hot. You think that's about right? I don't know. We should have measured some stuff. <laughs> okay. It'll hold itself. <laughs> do, do like Bevan says to me. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Not very much. You're, you're at a pretty extreme angle to, to make it happen. Because we kept that thing so flat. Oh, yeah. Definitely the flatter, the flatter and longer, the better. Yeah, it's almost uphill when it's... It should be up there. Yeah. You won't have any bumps there. All right, I'm gonna weld this together. What do you say? I like it. It's so weird how there's ways I'm more redneck than him, and in other ways he's more redneck than me. It's just... <laughs> perfect. That looks like I built it. It's perfect. This done. Built some hoops. And then it's gonna be nighttime. We know how to do hoops. Hoops should honestly be fairly easy. That's better. Oh yeah. Yep, that's what we're after right there. It's tight, but it's gonna fit. Over there, had my hand on here. I and came it out, out and swung hand. forward and pinched my little finger oh, in between the bowl over there. It was less than fun. How does it feel now? Still hurts a little. Is it like, can you feel the pulse in your finger? Yeah, I can actually. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's good to know that my heart's still beating. <laughs> shabby. It looks pretty straight from I think it's all right. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna weld them in and make them permanent. The Toyota is mostly done. Maiden voyage. We're gonna ease it out of the shop and go take it for a little shakedown run. Still needs wheel spacers in the front. Alright, it's out. I mean, we're probably, I don't know, what would you say, how many weekends now? We're 110 hours. Probably could have done a little cheaper if we would have fabbed everything. 
Yeah, but we but, didn't skimp on any parts. Yeah, we didn't skimp on stuff. It's locked in the front end with good axles. Yeah. And the way it sits now, I'm like 12 grand in parts. <sighs> yeah, about, about 12 grand. A nice truck. That is a nice truck. So we figure we're about eight inches higher than the three inch ghetto lift that I had before. Obviously I have rock sliders now. It's three linked. I got Ori shocks, struts. I do have a new a bumper. I gotta hook up the winch still. The e-locker, I gotta wire it up still. No longer rack and pinion. It's a uh, trail gear steering box instead of rack and pinion. Still gotta get two inch wheel spacers in the front. So it matches the back, but I'm excited. Can't wait to go test her out. Well, yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> I drilled it in the wrong spot completely. I was going to get a DOT physical. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like this. You know, yeah, that's great stuff. <laughs> I hate trying to get all of that in there. Turn your fly down. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> that's going to be a good blooper. What's the next project? Your yard. Good. I gotta get your yard done. I like that project. But no, I gotta get that welder running. That motor that's sitting right there needs to be put on that welder. I gotta make it work. Well, I think I'm gonna do your brother's 59 first. I'm gonna put that front end under it and get it running for him. It's a 59 Chevy truck to pay for that T-Bird that I crashed last year out there. <laughs> I gotta pay my debts. <laughs>